Down here with Oriel Services, my sponsor actually Greg O'Connor is a great man. I got us involved down here with a job at Walsh Bay, so we're building on the piers here. Um, a lot of work down here, so I worked here in the uh, in the COVID break for about a month and just back here visiting now. Well, I'm actually studying building and construction, so I'm doing a Cert 4 in that at the moment. Um, so just to come down here and learn about how, how to work on a site, um, how to work in a team on a site, learning about how, how, to, how to use the tools, learning from these guys who have been doing it for years and years. Um, it's good fun just doing something different as well. I think it's really important to actually not just be football, football, football your whole time. You, you, everyone needs an outlet and I think building for me is something I really enjoy. I'm really passionate about it. I feel, I feel like if you're doing football all day, every day, you get so footballed out. Um, it's important that we're really serious about our football. It's the number one priority, but when you have an outlet, I think it, it, it you know helps a fair bit. Um, yeah, I'm doing a Cert 3 in, in carpentry. Um, me, Wardy, uh, Nick Shipley and Braden Prusel. Um, yeah, it's definitely a good like little opportunity to get away from footy for a bit. Um, it's something that we've, we've enjoyed doing. Um, we did a fair bit of it over the COVID break to get on the tools. and. Um, with Greg being such a great supporter of the club and us, um, he lets us come down here whenever and yeah, do it and get on the tools. It's a good skill to have under your belt, which um, gives you a variety of different jobs that you can do. We're down in Watch Bay at the Arch Pre Precinct. Um, this is where uh, all the dancing and acting and whatnot is. There's a new facility for them. We uh, I, we're a player partner with Cal, and we've been supporters for a long time for the joints. Um, and also Pepper Randall, one of the G GWS or the um, AFLW players, is an apprentice to us as well as a player partner as well. She fits in great. She, the, all the guys love her. She's as tough as nails. She works as she the same as she plays. She's learning how to do all our heritage uh, carpentry down here. Uh, we were working on the opposite wall, wharf and wharf <laughs> four and five. We were doing the heritage carpentry there, so the guys were paid as apprentices and um, worked underneath some of our seniors, carpenters, supervisors, and fitted in fantastically. Yeah, we'll definitely play our partners. It's been really good for us. It uh, legitimizes Oriel, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that we are connected to a strong brand, a strong team, and uh, just a really good, it's, it's, it's really good for us all around. Delighted to be in, involved with the joints. I guess you start to think about what you're going to do post football when you get to my age, when you're 31 last week, and you don't freak out. But it's always good to have something, you know, at the end of your career that you actually care about and you're passionate about. And if I can learn as much as I can now while I'm playing football on the tools, just learn, you know, what it, you know, what it's like to actually be on site all day, every day, um, and just learn every single day, you know, as much as I can away from the football club is going to help me post football.